Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. We're going to have a high-performance radio shootout between the C-Crane CC Radio EP Pro and the Sanjin PR-D4W. Now, you're probably in the market for one of these awesome radios, and you kind of want to know, hey, Tatterbert, which one's better than the other? Well, we're going to go through the different features, and you can choose for yourself, but I will crown a winner in this versus video. So let's get started. Number one, portability. EP Pro is pretty big, makes it a little less portable. It does have a handle, which gives it a bonus, but that size kind of holds it back. The Sanjin, smaller form factor, easier to stow away. No handle, but that compact form factor makes it a winner, so it wins this category. All right, Sanjin. Next, we have controls and ease of use. The controls on the EP Pro are amazing. Simple knobs, simple switch, simple power button and light button, and big volume and tuning knobs. This makes it a very easy radio to use. The Sanjin PRD4W it has a nice volume knob here, but it has multiple buttons on the front and secondary features and menu items you have to get into to change things. It makes it a little less ease of use compared to the C-Crane, so the CC Radio EP Pro wins that category pretty much hands down. Next category, we have display visibility. All right, so if you look at these displays, one's an analog and one's an LCD, uh, what is easier to see? Well, it depends on the person, but for me, turn this radio on. This is a nice backlight. I really enjoy that. Real clear numbers, but they are smaller numbers. So if I was to compare this to the Sanjin, if you look here, nice large LCD, big numbers. Turn the power on. Your frequency is very large, easy to see across the room. This one definitely wins that category for display visibility just because of that LCD screen is fantastic. Okay, and next, we're looking at features of the radios. Some have extra features and some have more extra features. So talking about clock, alarm, and sleep functions on a radio, the Sanjin has it. The C-Crane CC Radio EP Pro does not. So the winner there is Sanjin, and that might be important to you. You might want to have this clock, and you may want to have an alarm to wake up to, especially in an emergency situation where you have no power and you have to wake up in the morning. This will do it for you in batteries. This one will not. Okay, so Sanjin wins. Yeah! <laughs> Next, uh, let's see, I got category five here. We have bandwidth controls. Bandwidth controls helps you fine tune those stations so you can eke out uh, just those distant stations just a little bit better, usually on the AM band. So the C-Crane EP Pro has a wide and narrow filter right here on the front, easy to access, uh, but it's only two steps. You have a wide and narrow, and it's only on the AM band. Now the Sanjin here excels at the bandwidth controls because it has six AM bandwidths and it has two, or sorry, excuse me, four FM uh, bandwidth controls. Just amazing. So the winner goes to Sanjin for bandwidth availability. Next category, this is a big one for me, bass and treble control. The EP Pro has a wonderful bass and treble control right on the front of the radio. Easy to access right there. Sanjin does not have any bass or treble control. That makes a big difference, especially when you're listening to the speaker. I wish this guy had it. Maybe they just had to leave it out, but man, if they added it to this radio, it'd be killer. But uh, the winner goes C Crane for their adding the bass and treble controls to this radio. Just makes it a pleasant experience. Awesome. And going from the bass treble control to the next category is speaker audio quality. Now this one gets pretty much a double factor, meaning each one of these, you know, who wins what gets a factor of one, but this category is a factor of two. So will get two extra points. I'm sorry, one extra point, so giving it two points for this category. This is speaker audio quality. This has a five inch speaker, and this has a three inch speaker. You can kind of guess who's gonna win. <laughs> the C-Crane CC Radio EP Pro has an amazing sound quality to it. So let's just go ahead, we can just turn it on, and FM on, turn it up. That's 
That's just a sweet sound. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's turn on this engine and hear what it sounds like. Gives you an idea of the sound quality characteristics there. Yeah, C-Crane, love that I can dial in those highs. I kind of miss that on the Sanjin. The Sanjin does sound pretty punchy for that little three-inch speaker. But uh, yeah, missing those highs, for me, it's a deal breaker as far as speaker audio goes. Definitely win goes to C-Crane EP Pro. Awesome! Next, we have headphone jack audio quality. Now, you'd think C-Crane, with their bass trouble control, uh, set on minimum and treble all the way high, I plug in my headphones, and the bass in this thing is overwhelming, just to a point where I can barely listen to it, even when the bass is set on minimum on the front and the treble is set to max. I don't know what they were doing. Maybe they'll revisit that, but the headphone experience on the Seacrane EP Pro is not great at all. Now, it might be my, my headphones aren't the best for bass uh, as far as controlling it, but the, it's just too much. I can't even listen to the radio. It's just... It hurts my ears with too much bass. So this radio, just if you're a bass monster and you love it, you're going to love this radio. But uh, otherwise, no, avoid it for a headphone experience. And pretty much most people using this kind of radio may not be using headphones. I don't know if you will, but this radio is a big radio. I'd probably be using it just for the external speaker. Sanjin wins. It sounds great. It has a lot of bass, but a lot of good mid-range. No low-level low hiss at all. So the winner of that category is the Sanjin. Hands down, just amazing sound experience, especially the FM stereo. Everything sounds beautiful. If C Crane can adjust that headphone experience, try different headphones, and they can kind of see what I'm talking about, they may win that category because they have separate bass and treble controls. Just make them work properly with the headphones. They did it with the speaker, they just didn't do it with the headphone jack. <laughs> Little things, they add up. Our next category each radio comes with an AC adapter. Yeah, so they both tie in that category. That's an important thing. You, know, you buy a radio like this, you expect something extra, but you get the AC adapter to power it, so you don't need batteries right away. Same with the Sanjin. They do have different power supplies. This has a linear, this has a switching supply. So people may like the idea of having a linear supply. I'll be honest with you, I looked up the switching supply. I tuned in a faint AM station. I put this next to the switching power supply to see if it would affect its reception, and it did not. So the shielding in this radio, and I believe the ferrite choke on the switching supply really helps this radio uh, nullify any kind of noise from that. So if, if you're worried about it, don't. So definitely they balance out. They both work perfectly. So they both tie. Yay. <laughs> Let's see. There's a lot of categories here. Next, we're going to talk about batteries. They both use 4D cells. Can you believe it? This little dude packs 4D batteries. And, of course, this one has 4Ds going straight across. <laughs> so it's just amazing that they both use 4Ds. As far as run times go, I would say if you keep the volume low on the C-Crane, and you keep this moderate, they should run about the same runtime. I think they gave this 125 hours-ish, and I believe you can get that out of this radio too if you don't dial that speaker volume too high. If you do, you're probably going to run less than this one. But otherwise, they tie in that category. Okay, they have uh, other features, line-in jacks. Does the C-Crane have one? Yes, it does. It has line-in jack on the side here. Pick it up. We have line in there, so that's nice. Plug it in and go. Automatically does it. This one here has a line in also on the side. There you go, auxiliary in they call it. This one here you have to select it in the band menu, you know, when your radio is on. So there you go, you have the ability to run line in. Nice, good feature. Uh, next is a feature that's only available on one radio, AM auto tracking. What a cool feature. Uh, you'll see it on the C-Crane uh, CC Radio 2E, but this Sanjin has it. Of course, this one does not. The neat thing about AM auto tracking is you find an AM station and it automatically finds the best signal and locks in on it. And I, I really like that. It takes a second or two for it to lock, but once it's locked, it can be in an off position to where the station is and it'll still lock on that signal. It's a really neat feature. It makes listening to AM pretty simple. You just dial in your station and it automatically tunes it in. You may not get the best signal, but you may have to move your radio still, but it actually works really good. 
So I just want to give you a heads up on that. So the winner, Sanjin. <laughs> but the next one comes to, you're going to say, Tadabert, the sea crane has something special. Yes, it does. It has this wonderful knob right here. And that is the, what did it say right there? Twin coil ferrite AM fine tuning. So this has a fine tuning knob for the AM band. Holy cow, does that make a huge difference? I love to be in control when I'm tuning my radios. And that gives me complete control over the AM ferrite bar. I love I can increase gain or, or null a station out with this knob. Just absolutely amazing. Of course, this does not have that. So the wing goes to C crane. You see how that kind of works? This has auto tracking. This has the manual tuning. So yeah, I just had to throw them in there as categories. Um, just so you knew, it's kind of feature list. Uh, let's see next. Here are the big ones. Now these get the two, you know, this will get to one extra point. So remember how these each category is one point. These are this is two points for this category. This is overall FM performance. The C Crane CC radio wins this one hands down by about a 20% margin on FM reception. I just sat them together, ran them through the band, and noticed I was getting a lot more stations with the C Crane. It's a very sensitive radio. Um, the the Sanjin did wasn't no slouch. It kept up pretty well. Uh, so if you're like a digital radio and you're like, uh, I don't want to mess with analog, you'll like this one still. It still does good with FM reception. It's just the C Crane has a more sensitive circuit, probably due to the larger antenna inside. Uh, I mean, sorry, external antenna. So that's a nice thing that it has, um, giving you that extra sensitivity on the FM band. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next category, overall AM performance. Again, another two-pointer. Um, this goes to the EP Pro again. Um, I dialed through all the stations, and this one just kept finding them. Now, the interesting thing here was I had to use the manual tuning a lot. This here had AM auto tracking. It just did its thing. Uh, I found I spent more time tuning to get those faint stations than I did with this radio. But overall, I was getting more stations with the C-Crane because of that manual ferrite tuning knob. It just gives you so much extra flexibility. Can't stress that enough. This is a, definitely a tuner's radio. Just amazing. All right, next feature, weather band. Okay, EP Pro does not have a weather band. And boy, they should add it. It would be a very simple thing to add. You put it on the band select switch here, weather mode. Or you have a button here, one touch weather like they used to do on the GEs. Very simple. You could easily incorporate in this radio. And boy, would it sell like hotcakes. I mean, it's probably selling pretty good now. But if you just add that one little extra feature, it would just be great. Especially with a portable radio like this. And you can also have your weather alert just to know what's going on with the weather. That's just a nice thing to have. Um, but it does not have it. Sanjin has it. It also has the alert mode, which is really nice. So you have the ability AM, FM, and a weather band, which is great. So winner, Sanjin in that category. Uh, next one's presets. Well, the ACC radio is pretty basic analog. There's no presets. You do get a log scale, <laughs> but you have no presets. Uh, the Sanjin has, uh, has five buttons on the front for presets. I believe it's 10 for AM, 10 for FM, 10 AM, 10 FM, and five weather band. So you get 25 presets for the Sanjin. So Sanjin wins presets. People like that. You hit one button, goes right to your favorite station. Here, you have to kind of spin the dial to your favorite station. But it's not too hard because this is dial's accurate and then you have the lock scale if you need to use it. But presets, Sanjin wins. <laughs> um, external antenna input jacks. Well, here we go. Let's pick this up, flip this around so you can see this. This radio, EP Pro, provides you with external input jacks. We have an AM jack and we have an FM jack right there. So if you want to increase the performance and range of your receiver, you're able to do that right from the back there. There's even a little switch there, so you can toggle internal AM antenna or the external antenna. Pretty cool. So the Sanjin does not have any of those controls. So the winner goes to the one in my hand here, the EP Pro. And I'm just trying to... Well, this is fun to move these radios with one hand. <laughs> Definitely heavy radio. Okay, 4D batteries weighs. Same with this little dude. Uh, so there you go. Winner, Sea Crane. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're adding these up there. You're kind of seeing how this is they're kind of going back and forth here. Um, tuning step. This is important. You want to know, uh, can I use it in different countries? Well, EP Pro, the revision 2.0, that's what this radio is, the current shipping model. They changed it. They added the 9 and 10K stepping switch. You saw it on the back there with those antenna jacks. You just flick the switch, and now you're 9K mode for your AM band. Fantastic. The Sanjin has the same thing. In the digital mode, you select it in the menu and the power's off, and it'll actually take you to a menu where you can select 9 or 10K. But the bonus 
and sustains and allows you to go different to the FM band and allows you to do 100 or 50 kilohertz stepping on the FM band. That's important because some people like to fine tune FM. There are some stations that are off, which is pretty rare, but you do run into one or two. I do in my my neighborhood here. We have 87.75, and this radio doesn't do it, but this radio will. So winner goes to Sanjin because it has an FM uh, feature there on the controls So for the stepping. Okay, next we have, where am I at? Boy, I have a lot of things to go over. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're at dial accuracy. Okay, well, you can't get any more accurate than LCD with the digital display and digital locking, tuning. It rocks. EP Pro. This dial is amazing. The stepping is very easy to use. This dial is right on the money across the FM band and on the AM band. So I'm going to give it a tie because this is such a great accurate dial. One of the most accurate analog dials I've ever used besides my GE Super Radio, which is the most accurate I've ever used. So yes, I'm going to give them a tie in that category because, yeah, digital, of course, <laughs> you would think would win, but this analog is really good, so they tie. Uh, let's see. We're getting to the end here. Build quality, fit and finish. Okay, fit and finish on both these products is very nice. I mean, you're paying good money for these radios. You expect good quality, fit and finish parts. Um, knob controls here feel really smooth, easy to use. Um, the buttons feel really responsive. Everything seems to be like it sits really nice. There's nothing sticking up. Everything, uh, the handle recesses really nicely. The antenna swivels properly. Um, everything you expect to see quality to be is there. Same with the Sanjin. Let's bring this up here a little bit so we can see the Sanjin a little bit better. Uh, everything on this thing is so compact and everything seems so well built. Um, this thing has a nice recessed antenna there. Um, everything on this radio is also very well made. Everything's fit and finish. The buttons feel responsive. Um, everything just feels good, premium quality when you're using this radio. So they, they definitely tie in that category. I can't really crown a winner of uh, quality, fit and finish. They definitely both win that uh, equally. Excellent. Uh, next comes price category. This is important. Price is important to most people. Uh, the EP Pro currently is shipping for $85, and I think plus shipping cost. I'm not sure on that, but I believe you have to pay shipping from Sea Crane uh, through Amazon and through certain places. Now, I think REI might have free shipping, something to check. Um, I'll actually look that up and see. And if I can find free shipping for, for REI, I think they do. Yeah, uh, I'll put a link here down below. And you'll see links for these radios down below, too, if you're curious and you want to check them out. I'll have some Amazon links. Yeah, just putting them there. But yeah, the EP Pro, you might be able to get 85 with free shipping from REI. Um, something to think about. Sanjin uh, currently averages around $60 price range uh, through Amazon. Might be cheaper, a little bit more, depending on where you buy it from. Walmart, I think, was a little bit more. Uh, actually, you can buy it on walmart.com, believe it or not. <laughs> That's where I got this one. Um, so yeah, just um, amazing um, that this is less money uh, and has a lot of features compared to the EP Pro. So the uh, win for price category definitely goes to Sanjin. Uh, being that much less. I mean, it's, it's quite a bit less. You know, 25 bucks less is a big deal. So there we go. Winner, Sanjin. <laughs> uh, okay, warranty. Here's a good one. What warranty do they have? Well, the C Crane, CC Radio, and most all their products come with a one-year warranty, which is fantastic. So if you own this radio, you get a one-year warranty. Awesome. If you buy the Sanjin Radio, the PRD4W, you get a one-year warranty. That's fantastic too. But not all Sanjin radios are like that. I bought a uh, currently a DT800, their newest uh, portable little pocket radio, and it had a 90-day warranty. I couldn't believe it. So I don't know if that's the future of uh, Sanjin, if they're all going to 90 days or not. But Sea Crane continues to be one year, but this radio came with one year, so they pretty much are equal in that respect. So they both tie in that category. Next is an important one. This one I haven't used in a, a shootout before, but this time I figured I would, is tech support. Yes, I've called tech support for Sea Crane and Sanjin. And the nice thing about it is when I call C-Crane, I get a human being right away and I get somebody that knows what they're doing and they can tell me, even the receptionist knew about these radios and what setting. And if I had an issue, they, they knew, knew how to handle and tell me, okay, do it this way and it'll fix the problem. So no issue there. They're great, fantastic folks. Like I said, even like I said, the receptionist knew, knew this stuff. They didn't have to send me to a tech guy or anything. So that was great. Uh, Sanjin, um, got a human right away too, Sanjin USA. Big shout out to them because they're, they're also great. They knew exactly where to send me tech support. Guy picked the phone right away. Didn't have to leave any messages. I didn't have to wait more than a few minutes. So that was great. Got on the phone with him. He knew exactly what my problem, the issue was. And he actually tested a few things for me and, and actually called me back and told me 
uh, you know, how to fix something. So definitely, you know, both companies are great. They both will talk to you. You know, I thought that C Crane would win that category because they're a smaller company and more focused on the future of radios. But the Sanjin, um, still focused too and strongly in the USA, even maybe with a bigger presence, but they still have great tech support. So winners go to both companies. You guys are both great, amazing tech support. So here we go at the end. Uh, <laughs> this is fun. Uh, over both radios, I know these are different radios, but just it's really cool because you're like, hey, that's a great radio. Well, that's I might want to do that instead. So here we go at the end. They're tied at 17 points apiece. <laughs> After all that, they're tied. And I was thinking, okay, what else can I find? And I'm sure you guys are going to be like, hey, Todd Herbert, this is this, and this is this. And, you know, if you did this, and I'm, I'm like, okay. So this, since I'm doing the review, I have to do a tiebreaker. So this is Todd Herbert's tiebreaker. And this is, I'm going to give you, there's a point going to be awarded to the tiebreaker radio. And it's going to be the EP Pro. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. Um, it's his personal preference. So you saw they both tied. So you can look at it and go, Todd Herbert, that one wins all hands day all day long. Digital display, it's it's rocking. You got weather band, dude. What are you doing? You know, or you know that one wins all day long. You got the internal ferrite bar. You know it's a almost eight inch, you know, two hundred millimeter ferrite bar. You know you're gonna hear some faint station with that. I love that big speaker. I mean, so it just depends on the person. But for me, EP Pro wins because it has a handle. <laughs> I don't know. How often I went to pick up this little dude, I had to fumble with it because there's no handle. <laughs> it just, what the heck, little dude? You need a handle or a strap or something, maybe in the future. But this guy has a handle. It's a big deal to me. Um, next is the fit and finish. This, I love this fit and finish of the, I mean, sorry, I should say finish, the matte finish. I can touch it. Now it's about leaving a fingerprint. If I touch this, I leave a fingerprint. Can, I leave, can you see that? I leave a fingerprint. I could touch any fingerprints. <laughs> yeah, and I got to cloth it all the time. So that's such a pain. I like this better for that. <laughs> um, what's also really good about the sea crane? Right here, guys. You heard it. Bass trouble controls and this external speaker. You got to have it, and it sounds just so amazing. I mean, for a radio not to have bass trouble controls in this price category, it just falls short. And I, I really think that the winner of a, for me, for tie break would be this right. These, these right here are very, very important to me. Um, love that. And of course, this speaker being five inch and the superior audio, audio tone coming out of the speaker, the punch, everything. It's just, wow. It just, that's what's giving the tie break more towards this favor for, for me. You know, it's again, some people may go, I don't like that dial. I like that web. I like the digital display better. Well, that might be for you. Then you go that way. Again, it's just my personal opinion. And this is a personal tiebreaker. Uh, what else did I, I want to add? Oh, yeah, external antenna jacks. That's a big deal. I'm really serious about tuning. I'm thinking about adding a, a wire to the AM, and I'm thinking about doing an FM a dipole off of here and see if I can get better uh, reception than a little, or little, I think it's a three-foot antenna on this thing. The uh, external antenna, I could add even longer or bigger FM antenna and maybe even get better reception. So, yeah, I like the ability to add larger antennas to this radio and possibly push its limits even further. I mean, what cool radios. I mean, that's just amazing. So for tuners radio, I'm a tuner. I love this. That goes to me too. Uh, what else did I like? Oh, there's quite a few. Uh, I, I like analog displays. That's just me. Um, personally, looking at digital things, I, just, I get bored with it. You know, I do a lot of analog. You know, I love analog stuff. I just love the analog display. We know it's a DSP radio inside, but the analog dial is really nice to look at. I just, I just like it. It just has that old school feel to me. And I really enjoy that. Oh, it's important to me. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the big one for me, too, is the manual control of the ferrite antenna. Right there, that little knob. This little guy right here lets me tune in those stations just wonderfully. Let's just turn this on. A little pop. That's normal. I've called him on that. Turn this up. So we can null it out. Give it some gain. Trump was asked on it. Tuner. On his campaign's communications with Russia. A Louisville mother is suing Texas Roadhouse for telling her to cover up while breastfeeding. Sadie Durbin. So I think, oh, that's that's nice. <laughs> love these, these, love this news. Like, who, what? It's almost Thanksgiving you're talking about that. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's what makes my video so much fun. <laughs> you never know what you're going to hear. <laughs> that's what makes radios fun too, right, guys? 
Um, so yeah, love the manual control. I think that was the A20 WBAP. Um, I can verify here because this is frequency. Um, gotta go to band. Let's go here and we'll scroll down to A20 and see if we get the same station. Da, 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 da. Okay, big display, love those numbers. Right back to normal, so call it right here. The law offices of Nick Damon, and right here in Dallas for more than 15 years, helping Texans resolve their own companies with 1-800 numbers. There's a lot of talking when it comes to these problems, but when you have the IRS coming in... Okay, must have been a different station. <laughs> They might be affecting each other by being this close, just letting you know. <laughs> but uh, still pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. Yeah, the one thing here, you got to tune it. Uh, you have to wait a second for the auto-tuning to kick in. Sometimes it's annoying to me. I like to be right on station. Uh, but uh, that auto-tracking, it just makes it easy. You click it, you wait a second, and boom, you're getting stations. And it's really nice because you may not have to have it angled perfectly. Just That's a bonus for that one. Okay, so that was what makes this a tie break for me. Now, let's go honorable mentions on the Sanjin. I'm just going to push this up here. So honorable mentions on the Sanjin. Let's get it all in frame. Uh, what do I, I got a little tiny writing here. I got to see what I wrote. <laughs> uh, the bandwidth options are huge. Uh, let me just show you. So if you're here and you're tuning away, and you want to hear it differently, so you... Oops. Let's go back to 20. It's a good station. I don't want things so bandwidth, press and hold. Yeah, four. Six. One. Two. Two point five. Three. So you can really dial it in on the bandwidth. So that's a good good feature. I love that. I mean, I think that's really nice. Since you don't have base or trouble, and you're on AM band, you're trying to find those stations, that is great to have. Um, next, the weather band, okay, and having alert options is a huge thing. Uh, let's see, clock and alarms. They're important. Um, having a clock is great. Um, up there, it goes right to the clock if you don't do anything. Um, that's a really handy feature, alarm, especially when you're power outage situation. This is a great emergency radio because you get the public alert, you get the alert mode, and then, of course, your power goes off. You know what time it is. If it's extended power outage, you have alarms to wake up in the morning, buzzer, wake up to your radio, and they're dual, so you have two alarms there for you and your spouse. Um, so just a nice, nice uh, thing to have. So honorable mentions to that. The headphone quality is amazing. With this little radio, this is a smaller form factor. You might be using the headphones more often. So the headphone quality is much better. Very impressed with the headphone quality on this. And then the AM auto tracking. Uh, for ease of AM auto tuning, or sorry, AM tuning, that AM auto tracking is an amazing feature. Definitely have to give the shout out to Sanjin for including that with this radio. It makes it just really enjoyable to just to hit the button, wait for it to come and to, to track it and lock it in. It's just, it really makes it a, a great tuning experience. Let me just get some fingerprints off here. Fingerprint magnet. <laughs> so the clear winner of this category, well, not clear winner, is the EP Pro to me. Um, like I said, it came down to a tie break. I had to give it to this one. And not because it's like I have one or the other. I mean, I own both radios and I use both radios, but I find myself using this one way more than this one. It's just that's just me. <laughs> it might be the sound. It might be the ease of. I just like the dial. I don't know. There's a lot about this radio I like. You know, just a lot. So there we go. The high performance radio shootout between the C Crane CC Radio EP Pro and the Sanjin PR D4W, giving you lots of choices and it gives you ideas. Okay. I really like that Sanjin. I think that's great. I really like that CC Crane Radio. I think that's great. So there's winners. They're both winners pretty much. As you notice, they both tied. Um, so the tie break could have won either way for you too. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. I'm going to link this radio and this radio down below in my comments description. So if you're in the market for one of these and you want to support my channel and have me do more of these type of videos, um, you can click the link. It takes you to Amazon. If you buy the radio and you enjoy it and you keep it, uh, I'll get a commission back to me to help me keep the channel rolling and get more of these high-end radios in. It does take a while to save up for these. I mean, almost 90 bucks. This was 60 So yeah, it, it adds up to the channel. You can't buy these every day. Um, but it, it really is fun and enjoyable to do these videos for you guys. Uh, two, definitely, if you're new to the channel and you love Versus videos, you love Secret products, you love Sandwich products, subscribe. 
hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. I have another Versus video planned. It involves a C crane and a Sanjin product again. Yes, <laughs> exciting. Uh, and three, comment below what you think about the shootout. You know, just speak your mind. I, I have no problem. You know, if you're like, hey, Todd, you missed this, or Todd, what, what are you thinking? You know, just, just tell me. I want to know. It's fun times. Either way, radio is fun. You hear those commercials or those news. You know, it's, it's just totally fun, unscripted radio here. It's, it's a fun experience. Let's have fun with radio. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, guys. We'll take care. I'm glad you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.